Hello guys, I look like a rotten egg, but please do excuse that. So this is gonna be get ready with me video while you get to know a little bit about me. Um, I haven't done this type of video for ages and I'm finally doing this again um, after what, two and a half years? And we're gonna get ready for this harvest ball. Harvest ball is like a dance thingy that my university is holding. My dog just walked in. Do you wanna be on the bed? Is that what this stair is about? Okay. She's mad because only her daughter is on the bed. Okay, so. I love you. Okay, you can go on the bed. She literally flew. But anyways, um, me being a fifth year PharmD student, I've never ever been to this harvest ball thingy. Honestly, I don't even know why. I don't even know why I thought that studying was my priority other than, you know, having fun and going to like parties when I was in my first and second year because once you start your professional year, it's not a joke. Like you will not have time to even sleep. So whenever you have a chance to do all this, like dress up and going into fancy places, getting fancy dinners that are provided by universities with your own money, like tuition money, then I strongly suggest that you go. If you hear my dog growling, it's just her playing around, so don't mind that. The theme for this year's Harvest Bowl is Bridgerton. <sighs> Where do I even begin? I'm, I'm just gonna assume that everyone's like everyone's watched Bridgerton, just like me, because it's a pretty fun show to watch. Um, Bridgerton is like back in the days type of shit, right? And so when the theme was announced, I was like, what the fuck do I wear that is like mid-century and like I also want to look sexy, right? So I was like, oh my god, oh my god, what do I wear? So obviously I'm like best friends with Shein. I'm a broke college student, like don't come at me for using Shein, but like Shein is coming in clutch all the time. Um, so I obviously go on Shein and I search for like Bridgerton inspired dresses and every single dresses that I'm seeing on Shein is literally looking like uh, bridesmaid dresses and I'm not about to go to wedding. So I'm like, yeah, this is not gonna work. So I search up like floral dresses because I'm thinking Bridgerton flower could work, you know? So I go on to Shein again and I look for like flowery dresses and like picnic dresses so I pick out ma'am and I find like perfect dress like cute enough dress and I buy like white gloves to go with it and I buy like the you know the headpiece um so it gets here look what they're doing Anyway, so I get my like headpiece and everything, you know, like the little hat looking thingy that English people wear to go to like funeral or like to the party. And everything gets here on time and I'm like in love with it. Like I'm I'm like so Bridgerton-y, like I'm, I was like, you know what, like I'm gonna be the most Bridgerton-y Bridgerton looking person that's gonna go to the ball. And then the day before I'm talking to my friends who are also going and they're like, oh, what are you wearing? And I'm like, oh, I'm wearing this. And they're like, wait, why are you wearing that? I mean, like, it's cute, but like, why are you wearing that? And I'm like, what do you mean? And apparently they're all going like very sexy, like off the theme. They're just gonna wear whatever that they feel the most like beautiful um, and the sexiest. So nobody really follows the theme. And here I am going to the Harvest Bowl for the first fucking every time and the theme being Bridgerton and I was about to look like a freaking mid-century like messenger girl or something like so I'm like oh shit and then I'm, I started like freaking out and I was like what the fuck do I wear then and I was like you know what like should I just wear whatever that I haven't worn to like official event you know and sh I should wear something sexy too because obviously I wouldn't be sexy so I go into my closet and there's this dress that I bought like a year, no, two years ago for Enzo's birthday. 
and I only wore it once, I never wore it again and I didn't take good enough picture to post on Instagram and obviously Instagram is my life <laughs> I'm exaggerating but like you, you get the point so I was like you know what I can wear that and I can still wear the gloves and the hat pieces and the jewelry that I ordered for the outfit so last night I was like trying everything on and I was getting everyone's opinion and everyone's like you know what your dress that you were supposed to wear for Bridgerton theme looks like a curtain or tablecloth so I would go with the black dress so I'm going with that black dress but um, I still wanted to wear the Bridgerton dress so I'm gonna wear the black dress and I'm gonna bring the Bridgerton dress just to take picture is it extra? I don't know if it's extra I think it's extra but I don't care I'll be back with the other eyebrows so before going to the thingy I'm gonna meet up with some of my friends and at the bar and we're gonna pregame um, but like this is a problem like we don't know it's everything is fucking last minute i at this point like i don't even know who's coming i don't even know who's not coming because like some people are canceling last minute and some people are joining last minute so yeah i'm just not sure but i'm just gonna keep on getting ready um so enzo is also obviously going um he's an alumni but like he graduated this year so I guess he still counts as a student because like when we were trying to get a ticket for him he was able to like eligible for student like price um, and for his suit obviously we didn't want to get something that he's just gonna wear once and throw it away or not not have anywhere else to wear that to so we just got something like silky and kind of like a very like a not really baggy but like not really tight like a like a loose fit silky shirt that has like this little tie thingy going on um we got that from zara and we got uh another black slacks to go with that um we were initially thinking about like, tux you know with the bow tie and everything but we couldn't find that from anywhere so we were like you know what we're just gonna have to improvise and go with this type of look he kind of looks like he kind of looks like a um, musician with his shirt but he looks good so oh i posted like a vlog yesterday or two days ago and someone commented that she wants to know about my mbti i am istj like whenever i tell anyone that i am i they're like there's no fucking way that you're i like i love going out i love going out to like drink and going clubbing with my friends like hanging out with my friends i love that but like if i had a chance would i rather stay home with my dogs in my bed i mean also i feel like that's also a tourist in me because i'm i believe in science um like i give off like very tourist energy and on top of that i'm very i'm kind of introverted person so like i wouldn't reach out to people like before those uh, you know reach out to me again if i had to choose would i rather stay home and watch netflix and just stay in bed all day or just go out every single night then i would definitely go with staying home and staying in bed and everything like that i'm a plan freak i love to plan everything planner is my best friend like if i have a schedule of like having brunch or something or having dinner with my friends or anything like that everything goes on my planner and it goes on my calendar app it goes on there too okay i'm gonna so this this entire thing you see those brushes i just got them from amazon they were like they're what like 20 pieces in one and they were on sale for like eight dollars so i had to get it but i've never used this type of small like tinier brushes for bronzing i always had like big ass poofy brush for the bronzer so i have no idea how to use this i'm just gonna do this and hope it works i don't know if i'm supposed to dab it or i'm supposed to just like i guess i'm seeing a little bit but also um speaking of mbti something equivalent to mbti in korea like back in the days was blood type i don't know why koreans were so obsessed with blood type but i was also one of them who <laughs> one of those who were obsessed with blood type i am uh, b i don't know if i'm like 
B plus or B minus. I'm pretty sure I'm B positive. And most of the people who know specific characteristic of different like blood type, they do say that I'm kind of reminding them of blood type O, which makes sense because my mom is O. Also, I am 23 years old. 24 in Korean age and I'm 23. My birthday is April 22nd. I'm a Taurus, like I said, and I love being a Taurus. Who wouldn't? <laughs> I'm kidding. I am currently living in Boston, I'm going to pharmacy school. I'm a fifth year PharmD student and I'm about to graduate in two years. I don't know if about to make sense, but honestly it does for me because I've been going to the same fucking school for five years now and I'm so sick of it. I can't wait to get out of this school. And we have this class, like seminar class for fifth year. And in the beginning of the semester, the professor asked us like, what kind of career path do you want to take? Like, does anyone want to like come back to the university and be a professor at the same university? And I'm like, oh, hell no. I'm never, ever, ever, ever coming back to this institution whatsoever. Like I am not even setting my foot in this university because I'm so sick of this institution. Like I'm so done with it. Oh, uh, one more thing on my channel or on my DM usually, would DM me and ask me some questions about university and I would like do my best to answer that type of questions um, as positively as I could because I'm naturally like <laughs> very um, not a positive person um, I'm very passive aggressive as well there's this video that I made when I was a freshman um, honest, re honest thought about MCPHS and I talk very like highly of MCPHS in that video and obviously that was like four years ago when I was just starting my semester and then just starting out my program and I only have gone to school for like three months at that point and I didn't know shit right so I feel like I didn't know what I was talking about in that video um and I feel like whatever I was talking about was coming from not experienced person or not really qualified to talk about things as a, as a freshman who's only been to that school for three months and I mean I feel like I, I need to address that because one MCPHS isn't like the worst university that could that you can think of it obviously has like pros and cons like any other universities but um, especially for PharmD program it's very very hard especially because it's already accelerated program and we have shorter semester than other universities so it's very hard it's a very dance program it's very um academically challenging program you don't get to experience that until you're in like professional years because once i was in first and second year i thought i can do this this is easy i mean obviously it wasn't easy but like you know what i mean um but now when i think about that mm, girl you didn't know shit i was on the phone with my friend for like a second and then i got sidetracked and i was on my tiktok i was like scrolling through tiktok for like almost half an hour um i really don't like how farmd program is trying to like not actively getting rid of students but like they definitely do have their bars high because they want the higher like percentage of naplex passing students rate i guess if that does, if that makes sense so like they want as many people as many students to pass naplex at once um making the national average percent higher you know so if you're like a if you're a struggling student if you're not doing well then they're not gonna be there for you to be able to continue your academic journey in a pharmacy the program, they would like suggest you to change your major or transfer out. So it's either like you try your hardest and then like if the program is not for you, then too bad you're gonna have to switch out to the different program. Whenever you have a problem, they're always like, oh, come and talk to us. Like come talk to your faculty or come talk to your dean or whatever. And I try to talk to them. I did, I actually did and nothing changes. Wait, my friend's calling again. Yeah, so she wants me to do her makeup, so I'm gonna I'm gonna have to hurry up because I have to go pre-game as well. So I'm gonna do my makeup and I'm gonna do my hair and I'm gonna 
like literally uber to her house and then like finish her makeup and then we're gonna go together to the bar so because i have lash extension i don't normally go for eyeliner but i'm just gonna like fill whatever is like here <sighs> yeah some of the frustration are from coming from those you know lack of student support i guess that would be some of the cons that i've experienced personally i literally can't multitask especially when i'm doing my liner i'm honestly <laughs> i don't even know how this video is gonna turn out too because i'm literally just speaking out of my ass like oh just because i'm brushing my lashes I've been getting my lashes done for like 4 years because I started in after my freshman year ended so like before my second year started um, I started because of my mom actually um, because her like one of her close friends was doing it she wanted like a test person and that was me at first I really didn't like it I honestly just didn't like how the glue felt and how like it was very heavy on me and I really didn't like it like at, as soon as I got it done as soon as she was done with me I was like I really want to take it off and yeah I was kind of being a bitch I really do hope that like my mom's friend that doesn't see this video but when I tried it with someone else like someone who was more experienced and someone who's been doing it for like 10, 10 plus years when I went to her and she did it it was like I was like oh my god I love this and then from then I kind of went ahead with my own journey to p find like the best lash extension person in Korea that would suit uh, my style and like my eyes and who knows how to do uh, whatever I want um, the best. And I was able to find that in Korea even though those styles were more expensive than like others. Even though I moved to another city, I still went ahead and went to her shop and then like when i came back to the states for the semester i had to like find someone who would be able to do the same thing for especially like an asian eye i've been with this slash tag for like two years now three years no two one and a half year yeah what else also so many people ask me like what i'm planning to do after graduation i honestly don't know whoever hires me i would be grateful to be able to work with them um i just want a job like i I'm, i just want like someone to hire me um so i can use my skills and knowledge and everything that i learned from college to use instead of you know just being at home hopefully not um my preference is retail i would love to be having interaction with patients one-on-one -on -one, like in real life but if retail is not the path that is offered to me in the future then i would love to do anything this would be okay or the red lip honestly i don't know i'm just gonna have to bring those two also oh i just put my contacts in so now i can see myself a lot of people like are very curious as to how i just do my makeup and then put my contacts in but i just like can't imagine doing my makeup with my contacts in like what if you poke your eyeballs like doesn't that hurt more if you have your contacts in i don't know i've never tried i'm gonna be graduating on may 2024 so i have about a year and a half my last year would be only rotation so like i would be working as an intern i wouldn't really have to go to school to take classes or anything it would just be more uh, of a clinical setting like where i actually get to practice do i go like this this is this how i do it i honestly don't know if i'm being honest with you i actually try to vlog when i had my ippy community rotation where i worked for a month as an intern i worked at an osco pharmacy for a month uh last summer oh what the fuck it didn't do anything I'm so confused so i try to vlog that entire process or whatever i was doing i was trying to introduce you to that but it ended up not being long enough for me to have like entire vlog because i always was so busy i was learning new stuff and i was like the newest addition to like the workers employees there so i wasn't really able to have my phone out or i don't know what's what this is doing 
Um, I have another rotation coming up this winter break. I'm going to be working at a rehab center um, for a month as well. So if I get a chance, I'll try to vlog that process and be able to show you or share with you guys what um, it would be like if I can. Um, what else about me is interesting? Um, I've been with my boyfriend for almost three years. My birthday is actually our anniversary and we've been living together for two years. I mean, it will be two, it will be two years in, in August. He is from Bolivia. He speaks Spanish, he speaks English both very fluently. And since I'm in love with Spanish, um, I actually did have two years of uh, Spanish classes when I was in high school. And surprisingly, it's like, really helpful like i'm able to communicate with some of like his family members in spanish but like i'm not that fluent but like i'm able to understand especially after dating him for like almost three years i kind of can understand more than i was able to when i was in high school okay, okay i don't think this is, this is working i don't think this is how it's supposed to be he went to same school as I did, but he wasn't PharmD, he wasn't pre-med. Eventually he wants to work as a hospital admin. Like he never wanted to be a doctor, but like he wants to like do a admin work. Right now he is trying to find a job, um, probably at a lab or hospital setting. Yeah, this is not working. So since his parents are not in the US, I've never met his parents, but um, whenever he FaceTimes them, I also FaceTime them. So we've met through FaceTime and they love me. When my mom came to Boston this past uh, summer and she stayed with us at our apartment. So he, she's met my boyfriend and she loves him too. Um, I think I'm gonna have to do something about the hair again later. I mean, at my friend's house, but this is the outfit. This is what it looks like and I have gloves and everything and I just don't know if I should be wearing this necklace or this necklace It's a little shorter I don't know and everything is a set so right now this is what I'm going with but I can also switch out to this Oh, let me show you the hat too. So this is the hat that I have. So I'm probably gonna go like this, probably. Or like this. But I don't know. Do I look like I'm going to a funeral? I don't know. At this point, I'm so, like I got burnt over here while using the thingy, trying to use the thingy. Um, but I don't have time, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take you guys with me to the ball. I'm gonna uh, vlog the entire thing. So uh, thank you for um, watching my get ready with me, and you can watch my vlog at Harvest Ball. Bye.